Transformers, robots in the sky. Transformers. So Bob transformations. So we're talking about all these transformations that we've talked about before. Everything is going to be the exact same except for like one change. So hopefully you guys remember your transformations. We talked about transformations early on with all the functions in the foldable. We talked about transformations um, with exponential functions before. And now we're going to log transformations. And again, they were exactly the same, but we're going to make one change here that is going to work for all the time from now on. So the vertical transformations. Again, it works the same way. We have a number on the back, not inside the parentheses, but just on the back itself. It's going to go up if it's positive. It's going to go down if it's negative. Same way. And also with this, if you have to write this down, write it down. But if you don't need to write it down because you remember the transformations and you did really well on it, you already understand transformations, go ahead and just like look at it. Just watch this. Just watch as I'm going through. All right, so again, if it's a positive C on the back, it goes up. If it's a negative C on the back, it goes down. Like no, just like no. But horizontal, give you an idea of what it looks like. Come out on the inside. So it's going to be inside parentheses here. So if it's a positive C on the inside, it's going to go left. Like we normally say, it goes backwards of what you think. So it goes left. And if it's, so, and also again, let's circle this in here. So if it's a positive C on the inside, it's going to go left. If it's a, po a negative C on the inside, it's going to go right. So again, opposite of what you think. So same thing we've been talking about the whole time. Opposite of what you think. And then also here give you a, um, an example of log x plus 3 base 10. And that plus 3 there means that it's going to go to the left 3. Go to that. So no changes there. Same thing we've been doing. Reflections here. And we haven't really talked about the negative on the inside a whole lot. But it, and that really doesn't matter, really, because we don't really deal with that a whole lot in here, too, either. So don't worry about that flipping about the y-axis. Don't worry really about, about that that much. Um, but just know, if you look at it, you can tell what's going on. Um, but the negative in front, again, it flips it. It flips the function again. So we know what the log function looks like, so we're going to flip it. And then the last part is where the change is going to happen. So this is where the change happens. So shrinking expands or shrinking stretches, that's the whole thing that's going to change. So the whole time we've been saying if C is greater than 1, it's going to shrink, and if it's between 0 and 1, it's going to expand. Now here, we go opposite. We go opposite. And this only works for logs. Only for logs. It doesn't work for exponentials, it doesn't work for anything else. Just for logs. So do not make this, oh, he said that it changes, so it changes for everything. No, I did not say that. No, 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 Whoa, whoa. So, only works for logs. If C is greater than, or that number in front is greater than 1, and now it's going to expand. Only for logs. If C is between 0 and 1, it's going to shrink. Only for logs. That's it. Only for logs. This part here is going to expand or shrink, or uh, stretch. Expand or stretch. And then the other part down here is going to shrink. It's between 0 and 1. Only for logs. So whenever we have our transformation quizzes, after this point, after this, after you, now you've looked at this and seen this, make sure your logs follow this rule. Only logs. Everything else follows the same rule we've been talking about. Logs is the only one that changes. And again, to give you an, an idea or example of uh, what this looks like, we have y equals 5 log x base b. That 5 here is what's, what I'm talking about with c. So in this case, in this case here, this would expand. And then here for the one half, that's between zero and one again. So that's going to shrink. Yeah, shrink. That's not shrink. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Yeah, let's try to Let's write the word shrink this time. Ooh, that looks bad. It's going to shrink. Or condense, we 
whichever one you like to see. Okay. And that's it. That's all there is with it now. So everything, all the transformations are the same. We're just looking at this part. So let's think of, we're just going to change just to shrink and expand. So we're going to go to an example here. And we're going to adjust this to transformations. That's it. I'm not going to talk anything else about it. We're just going to list transformations. So for example, six, you should, you already know how this works. So it's not brand new. Nothing should mess with you or get you upset or anything of that sort. You already know this. So we know when it comes to our first one, y equals net negative log x plus 3 minus 4. We know the negative is a transformation, the plus 3 is a transformation, and the minus 4 is a transformation. The log just tells us what function we're dealing with, and then the x just tells us it's log x. So just looking at this really quickly, what is your base number here? We'll talk about that. If you don't remember, we'll talk about it. All right, so we know the negative means flip. When it comes to positive 3, it means it's going to go to the left, 3. And with a negative 4, means we're going to go down 4. And everybody should remember, since there's no base there, it's understood base 10. Okay, and then now let's look at this last one down here. Again, that 1.2 in front means something, minus 1 and the plus, plus 5. So that 1.2 is greater than 1. So before we used to say it was shrink, but now because we're talking about logs, it's going to expand. And I really don't have the scientific or uh, mathematical reasoning why that expands now for logs, or why logs expands when it comes to this part. I don't really have that one, so if you want to look that up, you can. And then that goes up five. So negative one goes to the left, goes to the right because it's opposite of what you think. All right, and that's it. That's all there is. So again, this is not a hard thing. Just remember.